welcome to Destined Nation. I'm Pastor Jadel and this is Monday Messengers. So, Ambassadors of Christ, let us all worship the Lord. Sing praise the name. Praise the name above all names, the one who reigns forever. Still the same, we will praise the name. Jesus, name above all names, the one who reigns forever. Still the same, we will praise the name. above all names every nation every nation all creation we proclaim your name every nation every nation all creation we I'm Bettina. And this is Verse of the Week. For our verse, let's go grab our Bibles and let's open it to Proverbs 10, verse 8. In the English Standard Version, it says there, The wise of heart will receive commandment, but the babbling fool will come to ruin. So why don't we recite this verse all together? Proverbs 10, verse 8. The wise of heart will receive commandment, but a babbling fool will come to ruin. For our challenge every Monday, Messengers, we encourage all of you teens to post our verse of the week, Proverbs 10 verse 8, on our Facebook timelines. Yes, and when you post those verses, don't forget to put our hashtags Destination, Monday Messengers, and I Accept the Challenge. Amen. So stay tuned for tomorrow's challenge yeah. on My Tuesday. So God bless and see you again next week for our Monday Messengers. Always, Always remember, remember you are destined for Christ. Hi teens, this is Pastora Abby and this is Evangelism 101 and together we will be discussing something very important that we have opened the opportunity during this quarantine and this is our online trio outreaches and we will be giving you three simple tips that you can use as you share the gospel through our trio outreaches. Number one, know the songs and the lyrics. You need to listen the song first look at your lyrics we have now collections three songs that you can access 
Show Google Drive. Number two, always be ready to share verses before each song. You can ask from teens, pastors, to be played in your mobile phone, FB, or Facebook. Number three, always encourage them to open their hearts to the message of this trio outreach. Every song in a trio is from the scripture. You need to capture their attention with the Word of God and how it related to them. The opening message should be more of the Word, not our own opinions and testimonies. Before we wrap up teens, let me read this verse to you. Romans 1.16 says, I am not ashamed of the gospel because it is the power of God for the salvation of everyone who believes for the Jew then for the Gentile. Come on teens, let's make the most of these trio opportunities. Let's invite our friends and our loved ones and it's just within the palm of our hand. Come on teens, let's go! Hello to you teens! Welcome back to Teens in Teen. I am Pastor Crystal and once again, we have another song feature for you that is definitely Bible-based and the singers are solid Christians. For today's episode, that is the song Strong Tower by James Wilson featuring Kirsten Stigelman. James Wilson is a passionate worship leader, musician, songwriter, and producer from Lexington Park, Maryland, and was known for his number one single in 2019 entitled Wait on the Lord. And this is from his album entitled Songs for the Church. And just this year, he released his newest album entitled Songs for the Nations. And from that album came our song feature for today entitled Strong Tower. The song talks about the name of Jesus, our strong tower, amen? The powerful name of Jesus. The name that sets us free, the name so powerful that even in His name itself has power. That is why when we pray, we pray in Jesus' name, amen? Teens, are you going through some tough times recently? Speak the name of Jesus and see miracles happen. In Jesus' name, you will do well in your studies. In Jesus' name, there is healing flowing in your home. Amen and amen. Psalm 20 verse 7. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. Let us listen to this song. The name of the Lord is a strong. Our song feature for today that is Chong Tower by James Wilson fe featuring Kirsten Sigelman. You can check it out on our Spotify playlist entitled Destination Teens in Tune. Always remember, teens, that it is important that we choose the songs that we listen to. Let God's word always be our standard in everything. You are destined for Christ. God bless you. Hi, teens. Welcome to Compass. I'm Pastor Dudel, and this is Monday Messengers. And every Monday, we are talking about how do we become an ambassador of Christ Jesus. So for today, let's talk about the fear of God and its fruit in people's lives. Because as you can see, fear of the Lord is reverence or respect for God. And we know that, right? We have already studied that. And today, we are going to talk about the fear of God as for our own good, and what are the fruit of the fear of the Lord? Jeremiah 32, verse 39. I will give them one heart and one way that they may fear me forever. For their own good and the good of their children after them. God doesn't have any agenda but to bless us and to see the next generation after us, our children and children's children, blessed by Him as well. That's why... He wanted us to walk in one way and to fear Him all the days of our lives. A people and a generation 
who fears the Lord and is blessed forever. Now, what are some fruits of a life that fears the Lord? First, the fruit of life where things go well. Do you want to, everything to go well with you, teens? Oh yeah, then let's fear the Lord. Deuteronomy 5 verse 29. Oh, that they had such a heart as this always, to fear me and to keep all my commandments, that it might go well with them and with their descendants forever. As you can see, as we fear the Lord, he said, it will go well with us and our descendants forever. So we should always make a decision to fear the Lord so that everything may go well with us and even to the next generation as we teach them to fear the Lord. Respect God, revere God, honor God in the way they live their lives daily. Secondly, the fruit of a long life. How many of you, you want a long life? Yes. Proverbs 10 verse 27. The fear of the Lord prolongs life, but the years of the wicked will be short. Now, if you want to live long and strong, then we should fear the Lord. Honor Him. Revere Him. Respect Him in the way we live our lives daily. The third one is the fruit of God's instructions. Now, how many of you, you want God to speak to you and instruct you? Yes? Now, it says here in Psalm 25 verse 12, He instructs you in the detailed plans of your life. Wow! Who is the man who fears the Lord? Him will he instruct in the way that he should choose. Wow! Every step of the way, the Lord will guide you. The Lord will be with you. The Lord will teach you. The Lord will give you instructions. And how amazing it is if the one instructing us has the best interest of each and every one of us in his mind. Right? Let us all fear the Lord and hear from him every instructions that we need in this life. Secondly, it says in Psalm 25 verse 14, The friendship of the Lord is for those who fear him, and he makes known to them his covenant. Now, God will be a friend. He will confide in you. It says there that he will have friendship with you. Wow, how many of you, you would like to be labeled or be known as a friend of God? Yes. What do we need to do? Let us fear him. Let us revere him, honor him, and respect him in the way we live our lives. Thirdly, he will give you a covenant, right? Same verse, Psalm 25, verse 14. And he makes known to them his covenant. The promises that he has for your life, it will be known to you and you'll be able to walk in all of those promises. Next, the fruit of prosperity. And we all want to prosper, right? Psalm 25, verse 13. His soul shall abide in well-being. And his offspring shall inherit the land. Now, who wants his soul to prosper? That is your mind, your emotions, and your will. It's going to be well with you as well. <laughs> and your offspring will inherit the land. So it's not just the prosperity of your soul, but also financial prosperity. Wow, the blessings of the fear of the Lord. Now, these are just some of the fruit that we can learn today about the fear of the Lord. As a person lives a life that pleases the Lord, honors the Lord, reveres the Lord, right? And every day of his life, just really living his life for God. These are the blessings that will flow in that person's life. So when you think about all of these things, praise God that we can all walk in all of these blessings. But Always remember that God also wants all of these blessings to flow to people who doesn't know Him yet. So what do we need to do? Let us remember to share the Word of God to others. Let them enter into this great relationship with God. And also let the fear of the Lord be upon their lives. And as they fear God, serve God, honor God in their lives, they will also walk in these blessings. So always remember that when you share the gospel teens, it is for the good of those people that you are sharing the gospel to. Amen? Because you wanted them to live a life that is blessed by the Lord. 
Now let us pray for you. Heavenly Father, help us to never be ashamed of the gospel because it is the power of God and the salvation of those who believe. And we know that the life that is lived in the fear of the Lord is the only life that is blessed. And Father, help us to remember all of these blessings that flow into a person who fears the Lord so that we will always remember that when we share the gospel, it is for the good of those people that we are sharing the gospel to. And Lord, help the teens that they will never be ashamed of the gospel. Stand for it, live it, and preach it. I commit them all to your mercy and grace in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Thank you so much, teens, for being in Destined Nation today. See you again tomorrow, 5 o'clock.